breaking news. After the 49ers lose the Super Bowl, Christian McCaffrey has decided to return back to college in hopes of actually winning something. Am I right? Why didn't the 49ers use this man in the fourth quarter? I have successfully recruited CMC back to school. McCaffrey is headed back to Carolina. East Carolina, that is. And he's going to be on the Pirates trying to save this school with a two-win season. Four challenges for today's video. I can only take control in the fourth quarter. I need to get over 2,000 yards from scrimmage, score five touchdowns in one game, and then lastly win either the championship game or the bowl game. CMC juiced edition, 99s across the board. Rainy one at the Boneyard. We're just picking this one up at the start of the fourth quarter. We're gonna hand it off to McCaffrey for the first play. He's got some daylight. He can get a block. Yes, McCaffrey is gonna go all the way. What a start to the video. McCaffrey with a monster touchdown and East Carolina is on top. Going for two. Why don't we feed the man again? See if he can find his way up the middle. Ah, not that time. Second and seven would like a little bit more runway this time and that'll do. HB draw, McCaffrey is the man. Getting a nice seven yard gain. Third and two, I have to believe they're ready for this run. And they are. And McCaffrey breaks out of it though, and fights for the first down. Second and two, this game is pretty much over. We can milk the clock, but we're gonna dump a slip screen to McCaffrey, wide open, touchdown, adds one through the air as well. Game one belongs to McCaffrey and the Pirates, CMC, getting it done with a couple touchdowns today. Another rainy one here in East Carolina, taking on the Owls in week two. Well, it's been hard to muster up offense in game two. We're going to hand it off to McCaffrey and hope he can get things right for us. Let's hand it off once more to our guy. CMC's got a lane here. See, he makes a nasty juke. Oh my goodness. I thought he was out of there. I think he took like two dudes with him there. Yep. <laughs> Third and seven, normally you think pass. Nope, I'm handing it off to McCaffrey. Yep, running through it, man. Powering forward for the first down. Fourth and two, it all comes down to this. I'm gonna run a speed option with McCaffrey, keeping it with the quarterback. And we turned it over, even though we got two yards just short. We're gonna have to pass here. And McCaffrey looks like he has a step with that speed and that catching ability. Huge play out of the backfield, 39 yards. We're just going to keep it on the option, and Flynn's got some space all the way down to first and goal. Strategically running down the clock on this one. Now we're going to hand it off, but taking our time and getting six. McCaffrey cashes in, and the extra point should give us the win. In the rain, extra point is good. Pirates should win this one. We all have been crushing it lately, and because of the support, I'm giving away two copies of EA College Football. CMC and the Pirates taking on their biggest challenge yet, ranked Virginia Tech, and this one's a surprising game, 3-3 three to three in the fourth quarter. Virginia Tech takes significant time off the clock and gets a field goal out of it as we're looking to make something happen. Let's see if we can kick it back around. <laughs> okay, that was silly. <laughs> Minus four yards. If that last one worked, that would have been the best highlight clip I've ever gotten. <laughs> Third and 12, we're forced to pass. Yeah, but I'm gonna go McCaffrey once more, coming to the backfield, that'll do. The clock is ticking, I'm really trying to do anything to get the ball in McCaffrey's hands, and uh, we're speeding these efforts up, hurrying up, getting it to McCaffrey, letting him get loose, another first down. A lot on the line in this drive, pretty much the game. Well, we gotta hurry, that clock's gonna be ticking. Let's see if we can get a big play before just settling for a field goal. Um, I mean, McCaffrey is always a good bet. Am I right? Out of the backfield, first down. Let's hurry up and take a shot at the end zone. Second and 10, six seconds left. I'm just going to try to get a few yards here and get down. I mean, obviously, if we can score, great. All right, timeout. Um, coach, what's this? Our field goal kicker can't hit a 38-yard field goal. Okay. Absolutely zero confidence in our kicker. This is what we get. Final play then. We're just forced to throw something up. And that's a disaster all around. We're going to lose to Virginia Tech. Why can't our kicker kick it? 
First and 10, getting absolutely blown out here in North Carolina. Let's hit him up with a slip screen. There's a guy just waiting for us. This is crazy. Without the Niners O-line, man, this is getting this is getting difficult out here. Yeah, just a nightmarish ending here. 41-9, North Carolina. Mid-season check-in here, going in against JMU in a snowy one. CMC and the Pirates holding JMU to zero points. Oh, wow. Third and four, we're gonna dump this one off to McCaffrey on a screen. He's got a couple blockers in front. Makes a move, gets tackled. And we're five and two with McCaffrey and the Pirates. They take care of the last couple games. Once again, let's call up CMC, have him dive for the end zone. That is six and an eight yard touchdown run in the snow. Looking easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I haven't been to the Carolinas before, but one thing I'm learning from this video is that it likes to rain out there. Another thing that I'm quickly learning is that running back, it's not all up to them. It takes a team in football to win. And uh, McCaffrey is on an island here on the Pirates team. Fourth and five, it comes down to this. There's McCaffrey for a first down. Just hand it off, bounce outside to the right. The speed is not actually as noticeable as I thought it would be. We can dump it out here to McCaffrey. He's just jogging over there. I'm looking to see if McCaffrey would get open, and there was nothing he was doing there for our favor. Harris, though, on the other hand, the other running back, we just dump one in. Third and goal. We at least want some points, as this feels like a lost cause here. And, yeah, it's a lost cause. Final game of the regular season. I don't have to do much in this one as, as the Pirates and CMC are just handling it. Fourth and inches with just a minute to go. It doesn't really matter in this one as we got it all figured out. And that should at least get us into a bowl game. The Pirates went on a little bit of a skid at the end of the season. But uh, at least we got the win here. And do it with emphatic style there. Jalen Johnson for six. But... At least we get the win and secure ourselves a bowl spot. 216 rushing yards and a touchdown for CMC. And then another 64 through the air and a receiving touchdown as well. Your East Carolina Panthers are taking on Syracuse in the Gasparilla Bowl. Oh my goodness. And the rain follows us to the bowl game as well. Raymond James Stadium is the site for this one as the Pirates are going up against Syracuse down by three in the fourth quarter. This is not a CMC highlight. This is a Flynn highlight as he is trucking his way along in the option. Four, six, 83 yards to the house. Alex Flynn. I think that only worked because the defense bought in on CMC. The threat that he is springing a massive hole for Flynn. Third and six, handing it off to McCaffrey on the counter. Our own O-lineman just gets in our way. Thankfully, we're able to shove our way down to a first. I think slotting McCaffrey out as a receiver is a good idea as well because he's got the tools. Syracuse gets stifled at the goal line, ending their chance at getting a touchdown and leaving this game with one minute left. For added emphasis, we're just going to hand it off to our man, CMC, see what he can do with it. Second and seven. There we go. Dumping out to McCaffrey. Good play. Why the heck not? Let's just throw it to McCaffrey across the middle. That'll do. And that's going to be game. And that's the ball game. The East Carolina Panthers, led by CMC, get the win at the Gasparilla Bowl. I am surprised. I am surprised, to say the least, that McCaffrey and the Pirates could get, what is that, eight wins now? That's, that's a shock to me because this team on paper was... A bunch of horseradish, I'm not going to lie. CMC was the only hope this team really had. Flynn put up some atrocious numbers throughout the year. Uh, wasn't getting the job done, so CMC was the man for sure. Alex Flynn was not doing this team any favors with only 16 touchdown passes on the year in a 49% completion clip. The star of the show, CMC, 15, almost 1,600 yards on the ground, 14 touchdown carries. Slap on another 742 through the air and four touchdowns. This feels pretty similar to what he's doing in the pros, which is even more impressive that he's putting up these type of numbers in the pros. One of the reasons why we were pretty rough around the edges, I mean, McCaffrey was the clear receiver by far on the year.
McCaffrey barely cracks the top 10 in rushing leaders. But I'm sure if you add his receiving totals to this amount, he's top two and probably not two. All in all, I'm a little underwhelmed with how the Pirates performed here with CMC on the team. I guess it goes to show why they only won two wins in the regular season, uh, because CMC, I feel like, can be credited for at least four of these wins. Oh, I'm on my way, I'm coming. 